also Jacob had too great, but he's not gonna make Jay, Jimmy, or Roman look bad. Yeah, yes, he yes, absolutely he will. Only one who might look worse is Solo when he comes in. No, no, highly disagree. Absolutely not. Uh, Jacob Fatu is a is a ten out of ten star. He is basically what Roman should be, but Roman is in his own category right now. So Roman Reigns is fucking great. He's one of the goats. I said this during that podcast. He's a goat for a reason. But Jacob Fatu easily, easily, without question, can outperform every single Bloodline member right now that's active in WWE. And not even just in the ring, on the mic too. He can easily destroy everybody, which is why when Jacob does go into WWE, I know he will probably be WWE restricted and it's unfortunate. But I stand on that and I don't give a fuck what anybody says because TikTok, I think when it came to TikTok, it was like a 50-50 divide. I think 50% of the people that watched that video were, I I, I said that for verbatim they agreed 50 percent was like what are you talking about roman is the goat <laughs> are you being serious and then to you guys i say you don't know jacob for two you don't know him you you don't know him ian i know he knows his shit so i will take that as constructive criticism and an actual opinion that i will actually be like all right that's your opinion and i respect it but the majority of them did not know did not know shit uh, Jacob might go 50-50 with Roman, but ain't destroying him. Absolutely, he will be destroying him. There's no fucking shot that he would not be destroying him. If it's up to WWE, yes, it would be 50-50. But if you put Roman versus Jacob Fatu in an actual match, in an MLW match, in an independent match, Jacob Fatu will absolutely 100% to the nth degree totally outshine Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns won't know what, what the F to do. Jacob Fatu is just that good. I gotta disagree with that because when Roman cooks, he can cook. No offense to Jacob, though. Yeah, so when Roman can cook, he can cook, but he can't do that on a weekly basis. He absolutely cannot do that every single week. Jacob for two, on the other hand, can not only do that every week, he can do it every freaking day. If he was given the platform to do this every single day, he will do Jacob for two every single day. Roman can only do it sporadically which is why he only shows up every now and then but also because of his part-time contract but he has he needs the time to have that promo he needs that time to work on his character which is fine i'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm just saying this is where it, it comes back jacob fatu will absolutely destroy roman reigns and everybody in the blue line because jacob fatu is that motherfucking guy Facts. That's it. That's it. Sorry. Sorry. Jacob Fatu would dog walk on every single Bloodline member if he was given the chance and he wasn't WWE restricted. Jacob would make Solo his bitch? He would. <laughs> he would. He's like the true enforcer. But he would also make Jay and Jimmy and Roman Reigns. With Roman Reigns, there may be some sort of an argument, but not really. When you really think about it, there's really not a fucking argument, man. You're talking about somebody that does this shit every single week at any given time. You hand this man, man a mic and this man just fr fr freaking goes off. You can give this man a random match opponent and he'll go the freak off. He'll call the match. He'll call the entire match. You're comparing him to Roman Reigns who has time, time to work on his promos and matches and he still paces himself in a match? Come on, man. I like Roman Reigns, but let's not fucking argue about this shit. Please, hello Brandon. 